everybody. Welcome back to Anderson's TV. It's Hello. Danish Pete. And it's in all his glory. Absolute. Glorious <laughs> glory. In glorious 4K, mind you. 4K. If you want to watch this video in 4K, hey. you have to click the little wheel. Absolutely. And, uh, have you got any 4 course. candles? Hmm? Yes, I do. What is it? Yes. Right. Back in the not too distant past, past. Uh, the wonderful the Peter Honore and svelte looking Robert Massard <laughs> did a little video on um, the B and G Little Sister, which were the first B and G guitars to reach the fair shores of Guildfordshire. And if you'd like to watch that video, if you click up there, you can see them doing it, mm. doing their thing. Yeah, we were very and, surprised as well. Anyway, go on. Yeah, so the little the, the little sister. What appealed to me about these guitars was, you know, it's clearly not a Strat, Tele, or Les Paul copy. Um, it had a certain sort of uh, old school rootsy kind of vibe. Yeah, twenties kind of. Yeah, that kind I'd of. I'd maybe seen guitar, Gibson 30. do it. You know, going a little bit near that with things like the Nighthawk, but never really. You know, the detail around the sort of the tailpiece the F holes and the colors and the pickup choices and stuff. It really gave it a kind of a, an old school vibe that I didn't really think Anderton's had um, True. You know, a guitar quite like that. Um, they've been really popular. Um, I'm really, really, really pleased with how the, the, the Little Sisters have gone down. Lots of great reviews from customers. Um, and the Little Sister though is, is a 14 fret neck joint, slotted headstock, 14 fret. So very old school yeah. vibe. Yeah. And fine if you're, you know, playing down at this end. Yeah. And the closer you get up this end, obviously, the more restrictive it becomes because the body meets the, the neck. They, did, they do do the cutaway and a sort of a, the, a non-cutaway a, a non version. Not a non-cutaway. No, we not of these sister. ones here. I don't think the stepsister is a, a non-cutaway version. A they cutaway version. So it's only the, if you want that non-cutaway, you have to... Right. Go to a little sister. I see. So the little sister, okay, that's cool. Little sister then, without, with or without the cutaway. The stepsister uh, is the new one. And the stepsister now is a 16 fret design. So we've got two extra frets. We go from 20 to 22 frets. We have um, a little bit more of the neck before it hits the body. Um, and consequently, uh, a slightly different feel and vibe to it. Um, mm, more modern, but even it's not modern, but no. it is modern because you can get up there. The same scale the length, mm -hmm. um, same kind of vibe. So you've still got the either the BNG humbuckers or the BNG P90s. Yep. Tailpiece and everything is the same. Tell me about the neck, Pete, because it's quite a, a sort of. Um, it's a. I think it's, it's the sort of neck I would I would assume would have been on an old school guitar. Well, I well, you might assume that. <laughs> I I think it's a nice slim neck, so it's it's quite comfortable in the width it's not too wide so mm. it's not like a seven eighth isn't right. it that you know the big old yeah almost like a classical style it's it's a normal width on it but it's got this slight ever so slight v all the way down which is more pronounced at the top of the neck mm. and then it disappears as it goes down towards the the 12th fret i think it's very pretty you know there's quite if you're you know, a bit of a guitar aficionado and you've played lots of Fender guitars. I think there are quite a few Fender guitars where the spec says V profile and you're sort of going, is it? No, oh, it's marginal, isn't it? Yes, but this... there's a modern V and then there's the 50s kind ah. of V, which is almost in a triangular so, kind of shape. So this is like 50s V, right? I would say, yeah, but I don't feel, I feel like this is not as, as V as some other guitar. I, my Martin OM28 V, Vintage has got a really pronounced, almost sharp kind of V, where this is a slightly rounded V, so it doesn't offend anyone. So, but <laughs> so what, what you can glean from here is that Pete and I disagree on the V. In the v. What it is, is a V shape, right? But you have to feel it. But it's not really, it's, yeah. it's not sharp. It's I would say a little bit less I, than I'm, a clap. Okay, let, let's concede anyway, yeah. you're completely right. It's not as wide or as V-shaped as some of those Martin no, um, or, vintage or as, acoustics. Or as the 50s. Uh, but I would say it's vendors. more V-shaped than Ooh. a lot of Fenders that say they're V-shaped. And, oh. the, and width-wise, you're completely yeah. right. It's a, just a normal, just feels the same width yeah. as like a Les Paul or something Nicely like that. rolled boards as well here. And it's a 12 um, inch radius on the board. So yeah. it's very comfortable and easy to play. I mean, it feels great. And again, I know we always say this, but these came out of the box. Yep. And it's really clever because they came out of the box and they were loosening the strings up on them. So when you tune them up, it just stays in tune. Yeah. You don't have to yeah. do all of that stuff. So There's a lot of attention to detail exactly. I think, on the final um, finish. 
And as you can see, this acts this. So there's two different guitars, but three different guitars, if that makes sense as such. Because this one is a solid mahogany version. So the neck is mahogany, and as you can see, it's a satin finish on it. So it doesn't have. I mean, we'll get to this in a minute. So this is a mahogany neck, mahogany back and sides, mahogany top, all in the satin finish. Where all of these are poly, but the neck, the back, and the neck is mahogany and. On this one here, this is the Wolf Burst. This has got a quilt maple top, and on the other ones, it's got a flame maple top. Um, so those are the difference. This one is another hundred pounds than the other ones because of the quilted maple top. Uh, but you look at that flame on the flame on that guitar you've got there, yeah. and the flame on the one you have here. So you got look. Go on the on the website and have a look. Yeah. So you you can see on here, it's you know this guitar would have started as a solid lump of mahogany. Obviously, all the sort of innards are routed out. Um, yeah. And then you've got the 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 top, the maple top, you know, gets uh, glued on in place. Yeah. There's lovely reveal binding, which is very neat. Um, that one there, you can see the binding goes, the flame goes into the binding on on that one there, particularly. Yeah. And it, it it's they're made. Beautifully open geared Grover tuners on the back here, um, which I really like. So uh, let's, let's tone, do some tones. Uh, Mr. Pete. Volume and tone and a three-way selector. This is the one with the humbox in it. You can do the one with the P90s, I will. and then at the end we can do this naughty little um, mahogany. I like that. That's proper old school. Yeah, I mean know, it's really it's really odd. Stuff, that I've seen it? a lot of. I follow lots of different guitar manufacturers online, and one of the ones that recently I've sort of gone oh that looks lovely is a brand called Wide Sky which is definitely okay. in this kind of vibe just yeah. like three times as expensive yeah um, so I think you know I, I I do like you know I can kind of see guitar players going oh yeah that's 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 the right vibe for my sort of rootsy music project that I'm doing but you know it's you can you don't necessarily you can play blues on a Steve vibe you know on a, on a gem if you like I mean it's nothing do you know what I mean though you know. But could you play Steve Vai on this? I bet he could, <laughs> with one hand, yeah. like this, behind his back. Oh, it's over here, is it? Tones. Tones. Okay, neck pickup. Uh, they make their own pickups as well in house. So, but here we go. That's all clean into Songs, the DP Wolsey. Just clean. It has got that acoustic kind of, you know, as I would expect for many things with a three-piece tail, mm. that ring. Uh, middle position. But my magic was you put a little bit of gain on from the Dane. What was the sound you had in the opening jam that had a real? Did you have like a quite a sharp room reverb on or something? No, it wasn't. Yeah, no, no, it had it that. Sounded wicked. I had right. that. So I had a little That's bit of it. a little bit of starlight. I'm going to check this with this one. Yeah, it's a that's slap the one, back. isn't it? Yeah, Real heavy slap. Just, just do the, the, the Dane first. Yeah. Just a little bit, just yeah. livens it up a bit, and then if you put the Cali 76 on. It just sings a little bit, you know, get that singing. With the 
Starlight Echo Station. Middle position, take the starlight off. Maybe a bit of naughty tremolo. Oh. That's some of the best times you've had for ages. The, the, the guitars, I remember me, uh, when R Rabia and I did it, you know, when Rabia and I, when we did the other, we, you, know, you, you look at them and go, oh, I don't know what to play with this. They, mm. It's a little bit sort of, you look at them and go, this is going to be either this or that. But actually, they play super, lo they are lovely to play and they, they've got this inspiring sound. And once you start layering up some tones of, you know, drive, compress, whatever, they, there's just something in there that, wants me to keep playing it like i was I like, playing this morning i couldn't stop you yeah know? i mean f for those of you that you know we get loads of questions about you know what pedals have you got and what settings did you have and all that kind of stuff and i apologize that we don't necessarily always keep up with that but the what i really like there which you don't normally i've not heard you use much was that heavy slap back just like delay a, yeah so it's a slap back with but with quite a few repeats on it so it's almost like an old-fashioned Reverb, like it's like a, almost like a spring reverb tank, but and I, it's. And there was a mod modulation on the. So there's a little bit of modulation on the. I think it, it just reminds me yeah. of like an old school guitar sound. Yeah. Um, and that's what anyway. it gives you. Anyway, and this, very is the, cool. this is, I think this is called Wolf Burst, this one with the quilt Ooh. top, and it's another £100 because it's a quilt maple top. I, I think so. price wise, um, you know, everything in the BG, uh, this is the Crossroads series. So whether you want to do the, the little sister or the stepsister, and, and regardless of what configuration you want to put together, I think if you if you ballpark this between sort of fifteen and seventeen hundred pounds, you get the rough idea of what these are exactly. going to cost. Exactly, lovely gig bag. Lovely gig lovely bags gig here, bag. absolutely nice and tidy yeah. with the little. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. it's it's all great, you know. Pedal all great. Your pedal board is sounding fine, Mister P. I'm yeah, really liking good. that. It's super duper easy I, as well. I saw it? a comment the other day on uh, on our YouTube channel just saying um, that guitar demos where you use pedals just like don't count. And I, and I was and I was a bit like oh, yeah, sort of yeah, going, did, yeah. and I, I was thinking I said, like, well, to, to what degree do you extend that to going? Why even plug into an amp then? Because the amps, <laughs> well, this, you know, in this respect, because otherwise, because all amps sound different and add certain yeah, flavors and stuff like that. So I, 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 we vehemently disagree that pedal <laughs> demos, you know, like using pedals doesn't count. I mean, nah, it's just, we need a bit of pedals. You have to have some pedals, it's like man. Make food without salt and pepper, isn't it? Well, some chefs would potentially say that is a thing, but hey, Ooh, hang on. My, uh, You've got a whoopee cushion. I had a, in had there. a bit of a <laughs> Right, well, I shall try and demonstrate Holy now as ably smoke, as I off. can wow. uh, what the P90s sound like. So, this is basically the same construction guitar, but with different pickups. <laughs> it sounds different to yours, you know. It's got a P90 kind it's really of. It's diff really difficult to say, isn't it? I I'm surprised, really, in the sense of I'm almost feeling it sounds fatter and warmer, which I would, you know, and perhaps a bit. I can understand the sort of it being having less output than a humbucker, but you wouldn't normally a associate it with. Fatter and warmer stepsister. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Middle <Okay>. position. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sounds great, doesn't it? Just all the notes. Articulate. Just, it is, unlike <laughs> us. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Bridge. <coughs> just choking on it. It's old. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the built-in built tremolo effect I've got here. Yeah, careful with that, because <laughs> you're going to get told off. I really like this guitar. I want to have uh, my opening sound. I had a little bit of the uh, Zen Ray. I did have a little bit of Dane into the Zen Ray. Into Ray. Speechless might be a bit overly dramatic, but I'm kind of sitting here going, I was not expecting to develop Bond. such a quick connection to this guitar. Yeah. Wow. That's exactly the feeling that Ravi and I had when we played them. Oh, it, I just realized it, I thought this was like a little floral pattern, but it actually says stepsister. It does, on, and the on other the one bridge. says little, little sister. sister. That's cool. Right, quickly before we go, let's have a listen to this uh, solid. Um, uh, Ebony, mahogany one, which is, uh, and also we didn't mention this actually, um, it's Mexican um, ebony. ebony on here. It's called something. Co begins with a K, doesn't it? Yeah, I can't Kajita? remember. Kajita? 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 Yeah. Ka cha 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 cha. -goo -goo. What? That is going to look good after six months or so because it's open yes. pour, isn't it? This so is like get my all... O20, uh, yes. that, that That's why I really like the look of this because when this gets banged up a bit, Oof. Yeah. It's gonna so is that great. like the kind of super thin nitro style finish that would go on to sure. an acoustic guitar, do you think? Maybe. I, I don't think yeah. so. I think it's just open. Maybe this. Well, you know, as in, even though it looks open poor, there'll usually always be some, some sort of kind of thing on it. But let's. Oh, I've got oh. the uh, delay on. I had the uh, delay with the. Slightly mm. bit of uh, it's more a good pedal. That. It's a good pedal. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't know why, but I, I, I could see if Django Reinhardt was still alive, I could see him sitting in a little jazz cafe playing a guitar. One of these. I don't, I don't know why, it just... Well, if you, if you do roll the, like, the tones and the volumes, are there different, good different sounds in there? Yeah, there are definitely. I, I actually did that in the beginning on this, so I just rolled the tone slightly back slightly. Funny when you roll the volume back, so you almost get. A... It's almost this acoustic key kind of because of the. The back pickup wants to go as well. Let's put a bit of Dane from Thorpe Effects on. Oh, 
Queens. Here's the next. Sorry, Brits. It's a rock machine too, isn't it? I mean, it's super lightweight, as you'd expect, because it's a hollow guitar or a semi-hollow guitar. Mm. Oh, look. Naughty step There you are. You should, uh, you're not going to see these everywhere, b and It's a very, very small um, guitar plan. manufacturer relative to, you know, the, the, the big guns out there. So um, yep. you might Check have to out. track one down to go try it. Or, of course, you're welcome to come to Guildford or, in fact, uh, order one from our internet site. Uh, because internet we, site. Internet. How old yes, are you? It is. is our, uh, it is our, It is some computer program that we've put on the World Wide Web or something. <laughs> we got a guy um, on the roof watching out for smoke <laughs> signals. Oh, hang on. There's an order for a. He's got, he's got his Commodore 64 up there, and he's literally tapping away. And no. Uh, yes. I mean, I'm sure we can come to an arrangement to ship one of these to wherever you live. Um, and uh, yeah, they're beautiful, right out of the box. Really, one of the nicest guitars surprise, you could right? try. Yeah, really surprised. Yeah. Well, not you know, pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I was hoping I'd like these, and I do. Good. Well, there Good. you go, ladies and gentlemen. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, and we will see you next time for some more yes. shenanigans.